Hello, it's Andrew McKenna here for the Beer Inn, of course, where there's no last orders. Happy New Year. Hope that your Christmas has went well for everybody. And let 2023 be a good one. More viewers and subscribers. More comments, possibly. And more beers to review. So today, I've got Magpie Trailhound. A light but complex malt bill, including rye, gives the beer a lightly spiced and sweet caramel flavour, balanced with tons of juicy tropical Simcoe hops, if that's how I said, brewed on a green energy powered brew kit. And then if anyone's interested in the link, it's www.magpiebrewery.com. And it's a 4.9%, so I wouldn't be driving a car when you've had a pint of this. So obviously, let's uh, open it. Let's see if we can pull this one a bit better rather than last time. Because we got all fobbing last time, didn't we? A bit lively there. It's like at the top, it's like a bun. So put in the comments, please, like if you want, what you've been doing over Christmas. Have you been out drinking? Was there any beer festivals on? Like, I went out to the Star in Beeston and the Victory Club in Beeston, Nottingham, that is. And quite nice. Should have got the name of the beers that I had at the Star. There's one at the Victory Club called Icebreaker, if anyone's heard of that. So I had some of that, a pint of that, and then when I went to the Star, I know that something to do with gambling, I can't remember what it's called now, but it was something to do with something to do with gambling in the name. And then, I can't remember, I, I think I had, I don't know if I had three in the Star, or whether... It's just another, yeah, might have been three in the star. And then there was, oh, I don't know, I just, I think after a couple, I just says, oh, can I try a pint of that? So it must have been three then. And then, I know one of them was Nottingham Brewery, Legend. Which I liked before, but not that keen on now. Obviously, I'm not going to, like, say anything bad about them, but still there but the beer I, I sort of felt had a bit of a smoky charcoal taste but it's like it still had it's like it had like a fruity smell to it this was a legend it had this sort of fruity sort of pineapple tang smell to it as it, as it do and sometimes mostly and then and then the uh and tasting it, I was, mm, couldn't wait to finish it. It was all right, but anyway, you might notice that's the channel up there. Right. Why the head's there, I can't really smell anything, so let's do the clarity. Yeah, clarity. Right. I'm trying to get a smell out of it.
funny and everything. It, I could get a taste out of it and it's ever so bitter. Oh. So where it says pineapple in there, then they're not far wrong. And as for tropical, where's that? <laughs> but anyway. It sort of starts off as a smooth sort of taste and then the tropical then sorry then the bitter taste just goes whoo that's you but so if you don't mind if your beer hasn't got a scent to it then you probably not like this one's all right for you but I'll say if you remember when I did the Elsie Mo like Castle Rock that's the that was the pilot if you look on my channel like after I've uploaded this one then it'll be the third video along but like for now if if I haven't uploaded it by the time you've seen it like then obviously it would have been second one along so Obviously, it's going to be a third one long. Anyway, less of the complications. Anyway, yeah, so, anyway. Mm, I don't usually like beers that are bitter. But, it'll do. Yeah, and you might have known that I'm using the old Golden Hen glass again. That's the only pint glass I've got, because... Like when, when I was going up another pub in Brankert before the landlord left, I asked him if he'd got a like ale glass and he gave me that one instead. What I want to do is get a Guinness glass. Yeah, so anyway. I wouldn't have it if it was on it, the on a bar. I'd ask for a taste of something else first, but then, like, probably might do if that one tasted worse. What I what I have to taste for anyway. If you like and subscribe, please leave me comments. Be nice to hear from you all, and like see you in the next one. Happy New Year to you. And let 2023 be a good one. Cheers.